Hi everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. It has been quite a while since we did a video tutorial together. And I thought since St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, what would be a better way to do a tutorial but to show you how to create a shamrock that you can use on your Facebook fan page, your profile, or even a blog post. So let's get started. The easiest part of this emblem is the outside circle. So let's get that created first. Start a new page and then go up to insert and shapes and choose a circle. And then drag your mouse on the screen while you're holding your shift key and make that circle nice and rounded. Once we have that done, right click on top of it and click size and position. And let's change the size of this to 3.75 for the height and the width. And let's go to our fill and make that a white. And then go to our line color and choose the green. Once we have that done, let's go to format, align this center and align it in the middle. And then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to copy this circle and I'm going to hit my control and V key and paste. And I'm going to right click on top of this again. I'm going to go to size and position. I'm going to change it to a 3.50 and I'm going down to the line style and I'm going to choose it to be round and I'm going to pick this circle and I'm going to make this a three point to make it just a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to drag over top of both of them, go to the top, say format, align center and align middle and then I'm going to group those two pieces together. So now our outside part of the emblem is complete. So let's move that over to the side. Now in order to make the leafy part of our shamrock, as you can see they're shaped like hearts, but the heart that comes along with PowerPoint is not appropriate for this section. So we're going to have to create our own. So let's do that. Go up to insert, click on shapes, and let's choose a circle and go up there again to shapes and click a square and make sure you get the square and not the rounded uh, rectangle. So once we have those, let's go right click size and position and change the size of these to point 75. And then let's uh, do that to our circle. Now let's change the fill color as well as the outline for both pieces. So let's go to fill and let's say no fill for now and go to line color and change that to the green. And do the same thing to the square. Go and change the outline color and remove the fill. And now we want to turn this square into a 45 degree angle. So go up to the top, format, hit rotate, choose more rotation options. And when the box opens up, put in 45 and hit enter. Then let's go to align, center, align, and middle. And this will make sure that our points here are matched correctly right into the middle of our guide. And we're going to take this circle part here. We're going to insert it inside until it snaps into place. Once that's done, we want to right click on our circle, say copy and hit control V to get another circle on the screen and match it right on top of that first one. And then once you have that matched, slide it over. So again, it clicks into place in the endpoints here and here. Then let's highlight this and go up to format and let's group these pieces together. Once we have them grouped together, we see this option box down here. Let's take that so it's right in the center. We want this nodule right here to sit right in the center of our screen, if at all possible. So get it as close as you can. I'm going to create a copy of it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say copy. And then I'm going to hit control V. And I'm going to take this nodule right here and again, put it right in the middle. 
and then I'm going to rotate it. So let's go to format. Let's go to rotate more rotation options and then let's choose a negative 100. Let's rotate that piece and once we have that done move it down so again this nodule right here is going to go right in the center there and then we want to click this again say copy control V to paste it and then we want to go up to format rotate more rotation options and then we want to change this to 100 and then again take that nodule that you see right here and put it right in the center of these guides there we go now I know it doesn't look like a shamrock now but it will on the outside of these circles drag your mouse over top of all of them and let's go to format and group them together then let's right click on the group click size and position let's go to line color and say no line go up to fill go to solid fill and then go down to the green okay now let's ungroup them for a moment because we want to make it look more like a shamrock and in order to do that we're going to have to move the two bottom leaves so highlight this one hit your shift key and highlight this one and then move them down now you can move them down you know once or twice whichever looks better for you as far as the shamrock is concerned uh, that looks nice but I think that looks a little bit nicer for me so I'm going to leave those right at that area now the last thing that we have to create is the stem so go to insert choose shapes and go down to this block art it's an arc ARC put your mouse on the canvas and drag then we want to bring this down to the bottom we want to get in closer so we can see what we're doing and now I want to go to format at the top rotate and rotate this left 90 degrees then see this yellow I think it's a, a diamond and what you can do is you can grab a hold of that and take this and resize your stem a little bit I'm going to you know I like a little point at both ends I'm going to do the same thing to the one here at the bottom and if it you know if, if it's too fat you take the point move it closer and thin it out a little bit and then once you like your stem you put it up where you want to put it I'm going to click this rotation tool here and I'm going to rotate this just a tiny bit and then I'm going to put that and once I have it positioned where I want it then I will right click on it choose size and position I'm going to fill it with the green and then I'm going to take the line color and click on no line and I'm going to close that out and then I'm going to take us uh, the canvas here and back it out a little bit and then I'm going to highlight all these pieces go to format and say group and group them together then I'm going to click on my emblem outside here and let's back out of the canvas a little more so we can see it and as you can tell our uh, outside border is a little bit larger than our shamrock so let's click on our shift key and hold that down and while we hold that down let's take this outside section here and drag it so that's a little bit smaller in size and matches our shamrock a little bit more and then once that's done we can highlight all these pieces go up to format do a line center and do a line middle and then I'm going to click on my shamrock and just move it down one point and there it is so I'm going to highlight everything I'm going to go up to format now I'm going to group it together so there you go happy St. Patrick's Day and I hope you had fun doing this tutorial 